एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो दिस इज फॉर पर्फॉर्मेंस सिस्टम्स टू फॉर ट्रिपली स्टूडेंट्स सो द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ लाइन्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गना शेयर यू आई मीन ब्रीफली अबाउट दिस चैप्टर ओके सो वॉट इज दिस पावर सिस्टम्स ओवर हियर इज सी जनरली इन दिस सब्जेक्ट यू विल बी मोस्टली लर्निंग अबाउट ट्रांसमिशन ओके Uh, we have this <clears throat> different steps of uh, generating power right first step is you will be we will generate power okay then we uh, transmit the power that means transmission process and then uh, it is uh, distribution next is utilization okay utilization is uh, the last process okay okay so uh, generation and all we will be seeing in the power systems one and all uh, thermal power stations and all everything we have seen there right uh, solar nuclear power stations how we generate we'll be seeing there okay transmission in this subject we'll be learning mostly about all the transmission uh, lines and all okay so this is one of the most important part of this power systems okay so in this it uh, nothing but it consists of some set of conductors are there will be present which will carry the electrical energy in bulk okay and it will transmit it from uh, power plants to uh, substations from power plants to substations to substations all right so see uh, suppose if the power is generating for example if you take uh, uh, the nagarjuna hydroelectric power uh, nagarjuna sagar dam you have right so hydroelectric power station or anything like in uh, sri salem uh, power station center all there the power is generating okay now from there it has to come to our houses right utilization is the consumers like we the normal household purposes and all so through generation after generation it will come to this process called transmission where you will be seeing this trans uh, big big transmission lines right outskirts of the cities and all you'll be seeing big big transformers and all uh, something like this um, towers and all you'll be seeing right so that that process what is going on is is nothing but transmission okay so this transmission is again divided into three types okay so this transmission uh, transmission lines are classified into three types all right so that is first one is short short transmission line okay and next is medium medium transmission line and the next one is long transmission line okay so what is a short transmission line medium transmission line and long transmission line we'll see in detail just briefly explaining this see short transmission line is nothing but if the length of this transmission line is less than 80 km that means if the distance of these transmission lines is less than 80 km then that will come under a uh, short transmission line and its voltage will be around if it is less than 20 kV operating voltage is less than 20 kV it comes under this category okay and uh, medium transmission line is nothing but its distance ranges from 80 to 250 km okay and its operating voltage is in between 20 to 100 kV if it is in this way then medium transmission line and long transmission line is above 250 km above 250 km you will get long transmission it comes under this one okay and its operating voltage is around uh, if it is greater than 100 kV we will be using long transmission lines okay and next is c here uh, the equivalent circuit of short uh, transmission line it is just given as c there will be one resistor one inductor okay and a load all right so this is the circuit this is r this is x both of them will become z impedance okay so this uh, this is the voltage okay v is sending voltage and this is current is okay sending and here it will become ir that means uh, receiving and current okay so the voltage across the load will be receiving voltage which is given by vr okay now we'll see for transmission uh, sorry medium transmission lines so this medium transmission line it here 
what happens is as this length of this line and operating voltage is uh, more here here we will take capacitance is present in uh, medium transmission lines capacitance is there okay so this capacitance okay uh, it is divided and grouped together in the form of condensers okay shunted across this line and for calculation purposes and all we will be using this capacitance okay how we will add this uh, capacitance is nothing but you can just say uh, it is in the form of a condenser okay in the condenser so the circuit for this is remember capacitance is not present in short transmission lines it is only present in medium as well as in the long transmission lines okay so the circuit is you will be having a uh, capacitor only in this one right so i'm just drawing same thing just here you're adding a capacitor okay so this is a resistor inductor uh, here one capacitor and one load all right that's it this is r x together it becomes z and this is c current towards c is ic same thing here also ir this is also vs same thing okay this is called as n condenser method n condenser method all right it, here it is also divided into two other types okay so that is nominal t and nominal pi okay that is c nominal t method so this medium transmission line this what i'm explaining right now this is only very important in this chapter okay so please uh, hear it carefully so here resistor inductor see it is c, c is placed in the form of a t and it continues again and load all right i'm just drawing it roughly you can draw uh, neatly in your exam so this is see this is r by 2 x by 2 this is r by 2 x by 2 see this is the c and here the voltage is taken as v1 this is vs this is vr receiving end all right this is in the form of a t right this one that's why this is called as nominal t method okay now we will see nominal pi method right nominal pi means it is in the form of a pi nominal pi method all right so this is starting when you will be having a capacitor resistor inductor one more capacitor and as it is load all right so this is vs and current to here is is this one is c by 2 c by 2 this is r this is x voltage here is vr all right so this is in the form of a pi right pi shape that's why this is called as nominal pi method okay as the distance here is uh, 82 to 50 kilometers capacitances are used as conductors for medium transmission lines okay so the method is like this this is called n condenser method again it, no, there's one more method that is nominal t method it is something like this it is in the form of a t and there is one more method nominal pi and this is in the form of a pi okay now we'll see what is this long transmission lines all right here uh, it like I said, uh, length is 250 kilometers and the operating voltage is greater than 100 kilovolts. This type of transmission is called as long transmission. So here, all these parameters of uh, transmission, whatever we are using, these are not lumped here. Okay, that means it is not fixed here. They are distributed uniformly all over the length. Uh, these capacitors are placed. Okay, so this is given by suppose this is the voltage. Okay, so this is the resistor inductor so that means this it is something like pi uh, nominal pi method only okay but it is continued the same thing can be added throughout the line of the uh, transmission okay that is what is long transmission line is so so this is given as y delta x this is also y delta y this is z right r and x Z delta that means it can be varying delta means varying so this is uh, voltage and this is also 
IS somewhere here you will be having IR and voltage is across the load will be VR so these uh, values will be varying okay uh, this is what is a uh, long transmission line is I think this is clear right just an overview of what this chapter is teaching you that is what we have seen uh, in this uh, video so if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thank you